Skug's Life. Hey, Mike, I can't get my 213 inch whip tuned better than two to one on 20 meters, and I don't know why. Um, no, what are you 213 using, inches. What are you using as a um, for ground for a ground network for ground radials? Yeah, is that so, is that mobile or what are we doing with that? I'm guessing that's probably just like a like like portable portable vertical whip kind of thing, yeah. like I usually do with uh, um, out in the field with uh, yeah with the 17 foot whip, uh, because that 17 foot whip or the or the MFJ. Um, 1979 which is 213 inches if you fully extend it and then bring it in about um a half a a half of extension is going to be um usually that's resonant at the top end of the 20 meter band if it's fully extended it'll be resonant at the bottom end of the 20 meter band so um yeah check your radios or it may just be a really bad yeah. length electrically that you're not going to get anything to mm -hmm. yeah six thirty yes yeah, 33 foot radials that should you should be able to get a better match than that well, well, 33 feet is going to be a half wave on 20 mm -hmm. so maybe you need to have some quarter wave 20 meter radials on that try this try folding your radials back in half so that they're approximately 16 ish feet long uh, see if that if that improves things on 20 meters for you uh, that's what I've, I've, a lot of times I'll, I'll do that. If I'm having trouble tuning the fully extended whip, uh, shortening the radials will, um, will help. Um, uh, also another thing I've done as, as sort of a last ditch effort is, um, use more coax. <laughs> that is true. Uh, <laughs> uh, 25 feet of coax. If I get, if I, if I'm on 20 meters and I can't get a good match, or actually, actually, a lot of times on 40 meters, if I can't get a good match, I'll add another 25 foot or get out my 50 foot length of coax. And usually that drops the SWR right down. And it doesn't really affect, you know, you're not losing much of, if any, performance. Um, but it just, it's just a little bit of extra bit. You know, it gets rid of those, you know, the coax is eating up that common mode current. So it uh, um, just kind of helps, uh, helps that out a little bit. People don't understand that the length of coax does actually play a role in it. It really mm -hmm. does. Um, you can actually, uh, like I said, you know, we talked about cutting, um, uh, cutting um, ladder line to a specific length to make it as a, a matching network for uh, high impedance antennas. Well, yeah. you could do that with a, with coax as well. There are ways. So. Um, Definitely. Sometimes just change out to coax, or maybe you got some coax that's kind of going bad. You don't know. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would either. You know, two things I do. I would do is was would be fold back the radials, and or lengthen your coax and see if that drops things down. Um, it it probably it, it it probably will. It's I've those those are 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 both kind of hacks that I've 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 done successfully. So. Mm -hmm. Follow him for more recipes on Instagram. Too. <laughs> so, all right, yeah, he's gonna he's, he's gonna try folding things back. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. So with that, and then like I said, you know, or like Michael said, add some coax. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.